Okay, this is Tuesday, uh, March 24th. That's when we're going to post this. And I got a couple suggestions for songs um, that you want to see broken down, Circle of Fifths. And the one that we have for today has an interesting connection to the one that we had from yesterday. Yesterday was Tell Her No by the Zombies. Okay, and you'll see why today's is uh, has a relation. And when you see that relation, you'll understand when you hear it why it sounds the same. But uh, somebody was looking at the circle of fifths and had a question. They said, well, why is C and A minor together on the wedge? Or why is G and E minor together on the wedge? And why is F and D minor together on the wedge? And the simple answer is because they share the uh, exact same key, chain, or key signature. So if you look at a C see if you can hear this or not the C has no sharps and flats in it so when you play the C scale all you're playing are white keys C D E F G A B C but when you go to the A minor scale all white keys Now let's say we go to the G. In the circle of fifths, if we look at the G, that says you have one sharp to play. And what sharp is that? Remember the spaces in the treble clef spell out F-A-C-E, uh, face. So this sharp is one half step above E, so that's F. So we have to play, instead of Fs, we have to play F sharps. So now if we start at the G, we have to play that sharp. Now if we go to E minor, that also plays the F sharp. E, F sharp, G, A, B, D, a, C, D, E. And if you look at the F, on circle of fifths has no sharps but it has a flat okay so if we look at that that says where is that located f a c e uh, it's a half step above the a so that's the b so it has a b flat so we don't play our f scale like this if you heard something wrong it was that b that needs to go to a b flat so now we have F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. So now on this piece, we have the D minor scale is the same as the F. So if we start in D, we also have to play a B flat instead of a B. And this is what the D minor scale sounds like. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. So that's why these are grouped together. C with the A minor, they both have zero flats, zero sharps in their signature. The G and the E minor both have one sharp, the F sharp, in their signature. And the F and the D minor both have one flat in their signature. Sound good? Okay, I told you that today's song will sound like yesterday's song. So it starts in this uh, minor chord. So yesterday the song was She's Not There by the Zombies. That starts in a minor chord. Okay? And then it goes to its major fourth. It goes A minor to D. This one does the same thing. It starts, this is Venus by Shocking Blue, 1969. We jump five years. This one starts in its minor chord, and then it goes to its major fourth, which is A. Okay, that's why those two sound alike. They both start in a minor chord, and then they go to their major fourth. Now what this one does, she's not there by the zombies from yesterday, it takes a jump. Anytime you jump 
across a circle of fifths, it sounds dramatic. So in this part of the song, it goes. So it just jumped from an F to an A, which was a big jump across the circle. Later on in the song, it takes a jump from the D, D minor, C, and then it goes up to the E seventh. It took a big jump across the circle of fifths. That's why it sounds dramatic. So somebody asked, well, can you work your way, how do you get to the other side of the circle of fifths? And what they do in jazz is they slowly work their way around the circle because every uh, every key is only separated by a f sharp or a flat, right? So if you start, start at the top in C, and then if you go to G, you're only adding one sharp. And then if you go to F to D, you're only adding one more sharp. If you go the other direction, you're only adding a flat at a time. So what they do in jazz, let's say you're talking about Frank Sinatra, and we'll add some of that. You start at one part of the circle of fifths and you work your way and you hit all the steps around well then it sounds like a gradual change when you do what shocking blue is doing in venus or what the zombies are doing and she's not there you're taking a big jump in venus this is their jump they start in their minor chord then they go to the next set of minor to uh major fourth they come back, then they come here, oh, I'm sorry, they go, and that's the jump in the song, okay, when it goes from the C to this B seventh, that's why that sounds different. So why do these songs sound the same? Well, they sound the same because they sound the same. Mathematically, why do they, uh, why? Why are they parallels of each other? Because they both start in minors, because they both go to their major fourth, and because they both have a dramatic jump around the circle.